So thank you for joining. In this video, I will quickly guide you on how to run a juice shop instance on the Heroku app. Heroku is a platform uh, that you can host your website and it has a free option and juice shop as we once uh, as we were talking about it is the it's an intentionally um, vulnerable app that we can do our um, challenges on and try learn hacking. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the GitHub link where uh, <clears throat> Juice Shop project owner Björn has kindly explained everything step by step. And we're going to be using this deploy on Heroku option. So I will uh, open this link up to create a Heroku membership subscription, which is a free version. I fill in all my details and then I create a create free account and then I go back to my email address, which uh, I've been I've given to Heroku. I activate my email and then I come back and I click deploy to Heroku. And I have to give my application a, a unique name, uh, which no one who uses Heroku has. So let's try LLHS OWASP Juice Shop, which will mean you guys won't be able to use the same uh, name because it won't be unique. So you can, you can give it any name you want. And I create, I click on deploy app and I will pause the video here because this uh, step takes around 10 to 15 minutes. We'll see you then. So it's been 12 minutes and my app is now um, deployed. So do not despair it if yours take uh, 12 to 15 minutes, it does take some time. So here I can say view my app and ta-da, here is my juice shop version. So I say help getting started. So um, as you can see, this is uh, like a proper um, shop uh, which sells juices and some other merchandise. So if you have time, I strongly, strongly suggest that you um, randomly click uh, here, here and there, look at some um, products, add them to your basket, create an account. Yeah, leave a comment review on, on the products just to get yourself familiar with how it all operates. But the first thing we're going to do together is to do um, the first um, challenge, which is finding the scoreboard. So it had t told us here and we missed it, but um, so it's telling us there are uh, multiple ways to find the scoreboard. The first, first um, thing I'm going to try is just to see if it is this easy. Oh no, it didn't do anything. So it is not that easy probably. Okay, now I need to open the dev tools. Okay, I'm going to do that by inspect and I'm going to look for the sources tab. Great. And I will start looking at all these files to find what I'm looking for. So I'm looking for a scoreboard. What would I do? Hmm. There is a lot of information here. Okay, let me try. Yes, um, I clicked Command F and it opened a find bar. So I'm going to try finding score. Okay, it doesn't look like anything readable to me because I'm not a coder. Um, next, 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 next. Hmm. Scoreboard path. 
Okay, that could be the path for the URL. So I'm going to try that one. Score dash board. Ta-da! Yes, so that worked. Now we have solved the first challenge together. So as you can see, okay, there are a lot of different challenges here. And during this year, we're going to be focusing on many of the simple ones. And this, um, this deployment of Juice Shop is um, pretty capable of running us through all of the um, uh, easier ones and the ones that we will use this year. There are, uh, as you will remember from this link, there are other types of deployments as well for Juice Shop. If you want to get more advanced, uh, you can use these versions and these implementations as well, because with the Heroku app or the Docker version, there are some of the challenges that are blocked because it, they are seen as dangerous to the um, container they're running in. So, um, so there's like 10 to 15 of them that we won't be able to see but that is not a problem for us because we already have um, enough to play with throughout the whole year. So give it a try. Go have a tour of your own juice shop. And if you need any troubleshooting, we will be at the Slack channel or was juice shop at LHS. Thank you and good night.